the Yak-15P. Played this a long time ago, absolutely love this plane, and since the real shatter has been adjusted and corrected, it's a lot of fun again. Haven't played it since then, probably gonna be a little rusty with it, but that's okay. Um, whole thing with this plane is got one little jet engine on it instead of a prop, but still is a Yak, so you do rip at a pretty low speed. Faster than something like a Yak-3, but still not that fast considering you're a jet, and of course you don't have an air brake because you're on a prop airframe. It's a cool little jet, it's uh, extremely maneuverable. Now, the only downside of this thing is that you have one single gun. You have one in R23, or in S23, actually, I think. Uh, yeah. One single in S23 with 60 rounds. Now, luckily, since Real Shatter's been changed, it's a good gun again. Uh, so, hold on, let me dunk on this, uh, Tiger Cat real quick. Hopefully I dunk on him and my teammates don't. Damn it, he ran away. I should have done this. This was not smart. Where was I? Single NS-23. Suboptimal guns, but uh, a lot of times they can one-shot. Usually take a couple rounds, but, you know, not many things actually do one-shot. Well, actually, what am I talking about? A lot of things one-shot now. But, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, very nice. I don't think that was technically a one-shot. I think that technically took two rounds, but I hit them both, so. Two rounds and he died. Very good. Yeah, he did. Come here, Tiger Cat. Very good. Love this plane so much, man. Now, the one thing I haven't talked about so far is its battle rating. It sits at a battle rating of 6.3, so you're going to be fighting props almost every single game. And, uh, you know, at the worst, F-84s, F-80s, that kind of thing. But then you gotta do have to worry about things like P-51Hs, which actually are scary. Even though it is a prop and you are a jet, the P-51H is still an absolutely nutty plane with some absolutely crack fly performance. And if you're not careful, he will catch you off guard. Hold on, hold on. Aw. Anyway, yeah. P-51H is still scary. Coming out of a dive, they uh, can kind of catch you if you're not at your absolute top speed. And you do kind of got to be careful. Like, I'd like to like say this scenario, for example, I want to be a little careful because there's a Key 84 and a P-51H way up high. As much as I want to go kill this guy over here, well, I was going to say these guys, but they're all dead except for that F-80. As much as I want to go over there, I kind of have to actually worry about this and keep my speed high enough to where he's not going to be able to just dive on me and kill me. Even though he is... Uh, 7k away from me. Other thing with this thing, it doesn't necessarily accelerate all that great, so you do have to kind of watch your speed even more. That's kind of, you know, every early jet in general, for the most part. This Tiger Cat dies to the airfield. I don't know why, like, why did you do that? See, that's something that always confuses me. There will be, like, a bunch of our team way up in the air, and then the other guy will just fly towards our airfield and try and strafe the guys on the ground when you could easily get some air kills. Like, the only time I'll ever airfield strafe somebody is if he's, like, one of the last players on the team and like say for example if i was in a subsonic jet chasing an f-104 there's an f-104 on the airfield i'm going to take that opportunity to kill him i'm gonna try and gain a little altitude i think very slowly get a climb going since these guys are gonna fight in the stratosphere good for them though i feel like it doesn't happen very much k84 is coming though I wonder if he's coming for me looks like he is very good actually kind of glad Let's see if i can swoop in on the f mm. i'm actually gonna wait a second Trying to deal with the key 84. So, Yak, or excuse me, Yak 15P. Very, very maneuverable. Like, I can pretty confidently fight a key 84 like this. As long as it doesn't hit anything. And just like that, we are slotting in behind him already. Where's that F80? Dead. Okay. Just like that. Lol. There we go. Still 23 rounds left as well. And that's the last one, a P-51H. Looks like he's going back to his airfield, I think. Yeah, he's going back to his short airfield. Sad. You know, and those top 152s chase that guy from the stratosphere. And, you know, there's no chance a 152H is going to catch a P-51H. Like, yeah, Tom 152H dies crazy good, but the P-51H is just fast as shit for a prop. You know, in a way, this plane kind of reminds me of the P-59. 
in the way that it plays. Except this isn't, you know, 5.7 or whatever it is. I got a RTB for fuel. Darn. So if you do give it enough time, you can go over 700 in a straight line. Of course, I am at 1400. Seems like I'm maintaining 708 IAS. Oh, he left the game. That's not terrible, I guess. Very glad he actually left the game instead of uh, just circling his airfield forever. I'll respect somebody who actually just leaves the game. Oh yeah, so you're still pretty close to 6.0 on this thing, so you can get sucked down into JU-288 land. Which is, you know, not ideal. A little bit boring in my humble opinion, but luckily this game is big enough to where we can actually still have some interesting uh, things happen. Other than killing JU-288s. But I am going to kill a JU-288, I think. After all, there is one right here. Making it hard to hit him. There's a fire. Hopefully he actually dies before the F-80 kills him. Don't know, we'll see. That f 80s is spraying him down. Hey, look at that. Got the kill. Now, if I remember correctly, the most efficient climb speed for this thing is about 460 kilometers an hour. You know, even though that is the most efficient climb speed, you're not going to be out climbing P-51Hs. Looks like we got some... Something's up there. Not quite sure. But, I'm down here. So, a lot of fighters down low as well, so I think I'm going to go for them. Oh, they're T-83s. Did not expect that. Some of them interceptor gents. Let's kill this J-21. If the F-80 doesn't. Actually, nah. i go this way. Or the J-7W. Mmm. Turns under me. 262. Or no, 162. Excuse me. Wow, everybody's right here. Nah, I'm gonna pull out of this. Don't want to head on that thing. But I can't get behind him very, very quickly. Damn, I'm not putting myself in position here. Let's kill this J6K. <laughs> God, that was so scuffed. I wasted so much ammo with that. We get him here, though. There we go. There's that 162. I have 15 rounds to get a lot more kills. I think we can make it work. Oh, cool. Thank you, thank you. That F2D just flew straight for that J7W. Interesting. We slide in here. Oh yeah. These guns feel very inconsistent. <laughs> he told me to fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Alright, well, I guess it's time to climb. All that's left is a 152, and I believe... Uh... I don't know. Just 152 and one unknown. I think he's dead, though, for sure. Yep. Oh, other guys. Uh, already dead, I guess. What was that, a 4K? I think we can do better than that. 